my goal line. Hello and good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks so much for taking the time being here. And uh, I am the CEO and co-founder of MyGola.com. MyGola is a travel planning service with a twist. But before I tell you more about that, let me tell you why we will fail. We will fail because everything we do involves a human being. Yes, that's right, a real person. So imagine you're planning a trip to Amsterdam. You ask a question, one of our hundreds of guides actually picks it up does all the research, and comes back with an answer in a few hours. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, in an age of Siri and driverless cars, why on earth would you have a process as inefficient as that? Let me talk about that. So it seems like uh, this is your trip to Amsterdam. You're going to be in Amsterdam looking for restaurants and a place to stay. Well, it turns out, in reality, it's never this simple. There are a lot more nuances to your trip. You actually have two other friends who are traveling with you, one of them who happens to be vegan. And you're actually not going to Amsterdam to attend a conference like this. You're actually going for the Cannabis Cup. And you want the authentic Dutch experience. Now, just for my own knowledge, how many of you know actually what the Cannabis Cup is? Okay. If you need the dope on that, please meet me backstage. So, something like this, I, would, I come from Google, I know technology can go a long way in interpreting something like this, but in reality, you need human judgment to interpret something like this. And if you had someone who applied that judgment, who actually did all the research on your behalf and acted like a travel research assistant, wouldn't that be awesome? I hope most of you are nodding your heads in agreement, but I see at least some shaking your heads in disbelief and saying, bah, I have no idea what this guy is smoking, how can this thing ever scale? Fortunately, as it turns out, that's exactly the reason why I'm here today, because we have done two very interesting things in the many, many months that we've been working on this. The first one is simple, actually, at least in concept, which is to build a massive, global, cheap workforce of travel enthusiasts who will act like your guides and do all the research for you. I'll talk a bit more about that in the end, but not now. What I want to focus on is the technology platform that we have built that allows any one of these individuals to provide great advice to you. So I'll switch to the demo. And uh, while I do that, I do want you to make sure uh, you, you take, keep an eye on how we get technology to do the heavy lifting while the human judgment plays a final role in, uh, in the last mile, basically. Let me see if I can expand this so you can see it more clearly. Okay, there you go. So imagine you're a guide with MyGola, and you come and pick up this question. Uh, you can see all the details about this question right here, and you can just start answering right away. The first thing you do is to write an introduction, and here you can inject your own personality. What we do is that we go out on the web and make sure if there's anything unusual happening in Amsterdam those days, while this traveler is going to be there, it's going, it's going to alert you. It's going to tell you if there are any public holidays, if there are any weather alerts, or if there are any, God forbid, any security alerts. Now let's find something uh, for, uh, for our friends to, to do in Amsterdam. Uh, if you see here, suggestions here, we manually uh, curated 3,000 high-quality websites from around the world, and we index and crawl and find all this information from them and put them here. Now you see the most of the suggestions here are actually museums, which might not be appropriate for our audience here. So let's go and uh, do a low budget filter on them and see if you get something different. We do. And of the suggestions, one that I like is Wandel Park, known as the Green Lung of Amsterdam. As uh, our friends at Porto say, this is a place to smoke a joint and to relax after a night of debauchery. So perfect for our audience here. So let's click the add button and you'll notice uh, it gets added to the answer right here. We also need to find some cannabis coffee shops. Here are some recommendations. Click the add button, gets added here. I'll scroll down and show you something else, uh, this, these offers. So what we do is that we work with partners like, uh, actually quite a few of them here, Flextrip, Kijubi, uh, 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 Urban Adventures, and so on. And we aggregate all those interesting tours and experiences that are here 
But still, there's human judgment involved in figuring out which of these actually would make sense for our audience. So the beer tour definitely seems like a home run, so I'll click on that, it gets added to the answer. Now let's find a, a place to stay for our friends. Uh, you can see we've already figured out that this is a low budget trip, so we'll only show hostels. There's actually one very interesting hotel, which is actually a low budget hotel that you can, uh, that you can see here. I'll click the add button, it gets added to the answer, same thing. Let me point out something other, uh, some other thing happening here, which is we go out and look at sublet sites like Airbnb, Rumorama, and the European equivalents, and find interesting apartments that, you know, that our audience might be interested in. So again, we're looking for something which has three guests. This one, $184 per night. Uh, this one, $64 per night. Sounds a little shady, but let me see what this is all about. Well, uh, it's a French national, this kind of explains it. Uh, it's a beautiful apartment. So I think uh, this is one that I would definitely recommend. Click the add button, gets added to the answer. Let's find something to eat now. Here, if you remember, one of our uh, travelers is actually vegan. So let's go and find some vegan options. There you go. Uh, this is an Indian place. This is, uh, this sounds like an or interesting organic vegan food place. Let's click the add button, there it goes. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see one more interesting thing, offbeat. What we do basically is that we index travel, uh, we index local blogs and city blogs where people are talking about cafes, nightlife, etc. that they hang out at and that they really like. And we automatically put that here. In fact, I've added this one, Cafe Katoen, already here to show you something interesting. If I click the edit button, you can see more details about this cafe right here. You can see the picture, it's a nice outdoor setting. You can see the description which came from spotted by locals and the attribution right there. But if you scroll down, you'll see a few people who have recently checked in on Foursquare at this particular cafe and have a Twitter account. So for example, in this case, Brandon suggests that the juniper beer here is out of this world. So I'll definitely add that as a tip. But what's more, I can actually reach out to Brandon and say, hey, we're recommending this particular place to some travelers. Any other tips? And you wouldn't believe how uh, responsive people are to something like this. So we're almost there. Time to close out. and. Uh, while uh, you're closing up, we would uh, suggest sometimes books and movies that we pick up from Amazon's List Mania or from Frommer's recommended books that uh, might be interesting for someone who's traveling here. So in this case, there's a Scarlett Johansson movie called Girl with a Pearl in which uh, she is, uh, uh, the Dutch painter Vermeer has a big crush on her. So this might be interesting. Click the add button, there it goes. And you can see the map has already auto plotted all of these different points right there. Again, click the add button and you're done. If you're happy with all that uh, you've done so far, you can click the publish button, and what you would see is uh, something like this. This is uh, uh, basically a PDF, completely personalized, your own trip. Um, actually, I did not take my daughter to the, for, for the Canada's Cup. That's a bit of a yeah, design license on my, on my team's run. But there you go. Basically, it's a PDF that you can carry with you. Uh, you can uh, uh, take it on the iPhone with you. So I would now ask my co-founder, Pratik Sharma, to come on uh, stage and actually help me with a few more slides. And uh, just to wrap up with a quick summary. So what is the essence of MyGola? What we really care about is you. We've, uh, we've, I think uh, what we've seen in the past is that this is, personalization is something that the travel web has missed in a very, very big way. We're taking a very uh, difficult approach to it, admittedly, but I think it's something that we've figured out how to scale. And uh, on the scalability part, we have uh, done a lot of work in the past year and a half. We have about 1,000 guides already in the system. We're recruiting about 100 guides every week. We plan 10,000 trips, 80 different countries. And uh, now we're actually looking at going to uh, uh, make this a much larger proposition. So we've also figured out a way to make money on this. And the way we do that is by uh, actually charging our users, believe it or not. And uh, we have very high conversion rates that we're very proud of. And we've also seen a lot of our users asking us to take the next step and do booking for them. So uh, affiliate revenue is there. So last thing uh, that I do want to uh, point out here is that uh, the reason why the MyGora platform is doing well and is powerful right now is because of all the great work that the teams here have done. We've integrated with a bunch of them. And uh, what we've done is that uh, in the end, we would just like uh, to actually go to the point where every one of you can actually use the power of the MyGola service through an API. So if you have a laptop, please go to mygola.com slash API and sign up and we'll get back to you with details. Thank you.